All right, so by now you guys have probably seen quite a few videos like these on YouTube. I just got an email saying that my recent cover of Mr. Crowley has been blocked globally on YouTube and is being taken down. This is always such an annoying and frustrating email to get because when it comes to monetization on YouTube, this, this isn't the typical video, you know, complaining about monetization or not being able to make money off a video. But when a video is completely stricken and taken down and, and you're also sometimes punished with a copyright strike, that makes no sense to me whatsoever. One of my first videos that ever went viral online was my Hotel California Shred parody, where I was impersonating different guitar players over the backing track of Hotel California. So it's obviously a different take on it. I'm not playing the original solo. It's really nothing like the original song. It's just the backing track, but that was removed off of YouTube. And I was given a copyright strike, which is a somewhat severe punishment as a content creator, because if you get three copyright strikes, then they can terminate your channel and remove you off YouTube, which again, as a content creator is pretty devastating to your livelihood, your income, and pretty much everything you do. So again, today this is happening with the Mr. Crowley cover, which by the way, is still live on TikTok and now Instagram since I joined Instagram this month. So if you haven't joined me there or checked out the page, come say hi and, uh, give a follow and leave a comment. But I do find this happens more often than not on YouTube versus other platforms. I haven't really had this happen too much on TikTok, but it happens on YouTube quite regularly. Now, when it comes to monetization, this is my view when you know I post a cover, I post a lot of covers. This is a fun way for me to engage with you guys. You guys leave comments requesting me to do a cover. I take the time to learn it and to record it and you know film it mix the audio, edit the video. There's a lot of time and effort that goes into doing that. So if it's not monetized, to me, that's not the end of the world. I am using that song to get views, to get promotion and likes and all that kind of stuff on uh, online. So if I'm not able to monetize, sometimes, you know, it kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world for me. Some copyright holders or artists take a more fair approach, or at least to me, more fair approach, where it's a shared monetization policy. So the artist or copyright holder gets some of the revenue and I get some of the revenue. That's more than fair in my eyes. And I think that's great. But then there are the select few copyright holders, artists who want to remove the video off of YouTube entirely, and then maybe sometimes give a copyright strike to the creator. This makes zero sense to me, because if the artist is worried about missed revenue, then they are welcome to take that revenue from the video, whether it's a short or long form video, which by the way, they're different policies. So usually I upload covers as shorts because generally it's safer. I guess not because this one was a short and it's being taken down now. So if the artist is worried about the missed ad revenue, then I think it's more than fair if they get the ad revenue, if it's their song that I'm covering, I'm totally fine with that. Also, it's not that much ad revenue. It's not as much as you may think. This uh, cover of Mr. Crowley that I did, it had no restrictions, meaning that I collect all of the ad revenue. And with about 150,000 views, I think it made about 20 bucks, maybe something like that. So again, if I miss out on that, because it's their song, it's not the end of the world. I'm totally fine with that. But again, to remove it from the platform makes zero sense because I bet more often than not, when people watch a cover of a classic song like Mr. Crowley, what they want to do afterwards is go to Spotify or Apple Music and listen to the song or pull up the artist version, like the original version on YouTube, which obviously is being monetized for them and listen to it and watch it. So. I'm not gonna say like I'm keeping their music alive because that's ridiculous and that's not the case, but all of the covers and all of the creators, you know, talking about the music or like, you know, Rick Beato does very often where he's playing some of the music and he's talking about the different theory and scales and stories behind it and everything that that is keeping the music alive. That's keeping the music relevant. So it's only helping the artist and helping keep their music relevant in a new way. So now, unfortunately on YouTube, every time you want to put in the effort to do a cover, you guys request a cool song. I want to take the time to learn it, film it, mix the audio, edit the video. I'm always hoping in the back of my head, back of my mind thinking, please don't get taken down. Please don't get a copyright strike. You know, it would be nice if it can be monetized, but really I, I don't 
care either way. But unfortunately, you don't find out if it's going to be taken down until after you've done all that work. So it, it's pretty annoying. I feel like they need to come up with a much better system because when you upload a video to YouTube, it does tell you when you upload if there's a copyright restriction. And before you publish it, you can either, you know, take out the part that is copywritten, which of course for a cover is the entire thing, or you can silence it if that works or whatever. But they tell you ahead of time. Unfortunately, sometimes with those videos you get the all clear or you even get the, it's being shared and then a couple months later like this one because this video is from a few months back you're getting punished and it's getting taken down i assume by a copyright holder seeing the video and wanting it taken down which again i know i've said it but makes absolute zero sense it does not hurt anybody if the video is live but even if they're collecting the monetization the money from it it's not hurting the artist in any way. It doesn't make any sense. Having said all that, I just want to share it with you guys so that you guys kind of know a where that video went if you're wanting to check it out because I was receiving a lot of positive feedback from you guys and you guys seem to enjoy it. So if you're looking for that video, unfortunately it's not there unless you go to TikTok and my new Instagram page. <laughs> I'm still going to post covers. I'm getting ready to film one right now with that awesome shred machine back there. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it doesn't uh, get taken down. But I just thought I'd share this with you guys so that you know kind of what I'm dealing with. But yeah, stay tuned. And uh, I'm looking forward to posting this one. See you in the next video.